Welcome to TacosToGeeks.com. Justin here. I'm back with another full anime 2020 premiere review. Today I'm going to be looking at I'm Standing on a Million Lives. As always, I give you a brief synopsis and this show can be watched on Crunchyroll. Aloof and logical middle school student third year, Yusuke, is transported to a game-like alternative world. He becomes a third player and takes on a dangerous quest with his classmates, Shindo, and Kusei, who were transported there earlier. The cold use K emotionalism and examines all elements with detachment, sometimes even toying with the lives of his companions. Can he protect his party from attacking monsters, difficult incidents, and powerful scheming enemies and win the game? Um, let's say this one. Um, stop me if you've heard this premise before. Person, gamer, lonely gamer, gets transported into a game world where he is the most highest praise, he's the excel, and he becomes this arrogant type of character. Stop me if you haven't heard that premise and seen that all before. Um, Yusuke is, when we first get introduced to him, he is detached, he has no friends, all he cares about is playing this game that he plays at home, and that's the only thing he, he cares about, nothing more, nothing less. So when he gets transported into this game world with two other girls, he, the only thing he starts to think about is how to win the game. Like, there's situations when, um, there's, there's rules to the games here, and just to elaborate a little bit more, not to give too much away, there's rules to the game here, well, first he gets assigned his class system. He becomes a farmer, while one of the girls is a magician and the other girl is a warrior. And the girl who's a warrior is constantly afraid to do battle, so she can't even pick up her sword. She's low rank. They're all low rank. This is the beginning of the game. They're all low rank. They have no powers, really, no real skills. So this really sets Yusuke off to kind of want to do things on his own. He feels that the real world absolutely sucks, so he's trying to do everything in his power to stay in this form of reality, which is the flaw of his character. And it's kind of cliche because we've seen this type of gamer hero trope before in anime, and it just, it's, it's been beaten to death in my opinion. And I do like the aesthetics of the show. I think it's very colorful. I do like the character designs. I do like the concept of, of how the concept of this game, is, I think, is actually going to change use K for the better because the concept is if all the team members die, he dies too. They die in the real world. So he has to keep everybody alive. He has to actually work as a team. He's so used to being solo. So it's going to be nice to see that dynamic of him actually having to let people in and stop and let his guard down in order to win the game. Overall, I would say the voice acting is good. I did like the music um, production. The animation was pretty cool. But I, for me, uh, it's not... It's a premise I've seen before countless, countless times when it comes to the gaming, the gaming fantasy world anime. They all get transported to the world. There's always something that it goes by the same usual cliche beats. So I really can't recommend this. I'm pretty sure Sword Art Online did it better, did this type of concept better. I'm pretty sure there's other animes like Excel World and all that stuff that did it better. This falls into the line of those type of concepts, so I'm not going to recommend this one. I'm not going to say put it in your queue. I'm going to give this a skip it, and I'm going to give it a three. It's a very average. I'm going to give it three out of five stars. This is Justin from AtacosTheGeeks.com. If you like what we do here, visit AtacosTheGeeks.com. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And, of course, you can follow us on Instagram at AtacosTheGeeks, Twitter at AtacosTheGeeks, and Facebook, Facebook.com slash AtacosTheGeeks blog. Later days.